Paul from High Tech Legion, and we'll be taking a look at the Click BIOS 2 for the MSI Z77A GD55 motherboard. This is a UEFI BIOS, so we have a different type of interface to it, of course. Right now, if we look, we have the MSI logo on the top left hand side, followed by temperatures of your CPU and mainboard. Going across, we have our time. We have the date and the version of our BIOS. To the right of that, we have what we're using in the system, what processor, what frequency, what DRAM frequency, and how much memory you have in. Below that, we have our boot priority sets. Right now, I have it to boot off of uh, my SSD, and then my second one would be, of course, my, my optical disk drive, and then so on. If we go come down to the center, we can see that we have an eco mode. When you click eco mode, it'll send it to an energy saving mode, and that will allow you to consume less power. Standard mode is basically your standard settings, and OC Genie mode. OC Genie. OC Genie is a one second overclock. Basically, all you're going to do is shut your system off. You have a button on the motherboard. You click that, reboot your system. You've automatically performance tuned your system based on. MSI's inherent settings in the motherboard. Now when we get into a little bit more advanced, let's go ahead and look at the, uh, the motherboard settings. You have system status. That basically shows you your date and time where you can change that. It shows you what SATA ports you have and it also shows your system information and gives you your BIOS version, build date, etc. Clicking the back key we can go to advanced and we have multiple settings under advanced. We have a PCI subsystem setting. It'll turn enable or disable your PCI Gen 3 if you have a PCI Gen 3 card. ACPI settings, of course this is your standby states and you do have a power LED on this board. You can set it to either blinking or dual color. Integrated peripherals this basically shows you what peripherals you have, your SATA ports, your LAN options, your audio controller, etc. Integrated graphics configuration. Yes, this does have Virtue technology where you could use uh, Lucid Virtue MVP, which basically gives you the option of using either your discrete card or your onboard graphics that would be on the Ivy Bridge uh, processor, of course, that has integrated graphics on that. You can enable that and it will allow you to either use I mode or D mode. I mode means, means that you have your monitor plugged into your onboard. D mode means that you have it plugged into your discrete card. When you are using that, you want to use the multi monitor support. Intel Rapid Start technology basically, it sets it up kind of like a cell phone the system will boot up a lot quicker. It keeps it in a, a sleep state that's a little bit different than a normal shutdown. USB configuration, this shows you what configuration you have or what you're what to use. USB controller, legacy, legacy USB support. Hardware monitor, this is where you could go ahead and change your your smart fan targets and your system fan controls. Intel Smart Connect configuration. We'll get into that a little bit in the review. Go ahead and read the review and we'll tell you about the Smart Connect technology. Power management setup. This is basically, you know, your soft key, power down, etc. And your wake up event setup. So it'll wake up by BIOS resume. I have them, of course, disabled. If we go down now, we can come into our overclocking settings. There are quite a few settings here. Basically, what this is going to do is allow you to now performance tune this and tune this on your own by tweaking different settings. CPU base frequency and CPU ratio. As you can see, I have that set to 48. This system is performance tuned to 4.8 gigahertz. Adjust CPU ratio in OS is disabled. PLL over voltage. This is enabled. 
If you click on that, it basically gives you three options, auto, disabled, and enabled. EIST is enabled. Turbo Boost is enabled. You have multiple settings there. Enhanced Turbo Boost. Enhanced Turbo Boost is basically if you're going to set your turbo, if you're going to set your, your turbo cores to a specific amount, you're going to probably want to go ahead and enable that because what it'll do is it'll basically keep your keep your clock frequencies at what your what your uh, turbo frequencies are. OC Genie button operation is enabled. My OC Genie is default. You have different different settings, default and customize. Of course, the OC Genie customize setting will bring up other options. And that will give you DRAM reference clock and DRAM frequency. Well, actually, I'm sorry. Going back, it'll give you the My OC Genie option. And here's your OC Genie options. You can set your OC Genie to basically boot up at what you set it for if you find a good timing. It's basically like setting a profile. So we'll go ahead and set that off. Then we have our DRAM frequency and our DRAM reference clock. As you can see, I have them both on auto because I have my XMP profile enabled and that will automatically pull the XMP profile off the memory if you have XMP memory and it will give you your timing, auto automatically put your timings and your voltages in based on what your uh, XMP settings are. Spread spectrum, of course this is disabled. Anytime you're performance tuning you do want to disable that. VDroop control, there's different levels for that. I have it set to level 2 right now. Digital compensation level is set to high. There are different levels, levels high and auto. C CPU OCP expander, default or enhanced. I have that on enhanced mode since we're performance tuning. And what you could do is if you if you highlight something and click help, it'll actually go ahead and tell you what that means. Expand the limitation of CPU current protection for extreme overclocking purposes. So if you have don't have an idea on what you're looking at, you could always go ahead and hit highlight it and then hit to help help key. My CPU core voltage is set to 1.34. I/O voltage is auto. DRAM voltage is set to auto, that's of course being set by my XMP settings. GPU voltage is auto, GPU current voltage is auto, and as we scroll down, we will see that we have our system agent voltages, which is basically our PLL, DRAM voltages, etc. You do have overclocking profiles on here, you could store up to six, and you could also save it to USB. CPU specifications, this will enable itself. Well, not this one, I'm sorry. The CPU specifications basically just shows you your CPU specifications and what technologies you have on it. What I'm looking for, now we have memory Z, this will give you your D DRAM memory, XMP support information, etc. It'll give you your clock timings. And if we go back here, let's enable CPU ratio in OS. And it'll give you CPU features. Once that comes up, You'll have different CPU features that you can change, like your, your turbo core limits, your, your turbo boost limits, I'm sorry. Your hyper-threading active processor cores, limit CPU ID, ex execute disabled bit, Intel virtualization technology, your power technology, your C1E support, your overspeed uh, over protection, C state protection, your long duration power limits, etc. This will only be available if you set it to certain settings. If, you, if I change it back to its default, you'll notice that it does disappear again. OK, 
Okay, it didn't disappear that time, sorry. I must not have clicked it correctly, but it does disappear based on what manual settings that you are that you are using. Energy saving, this is basically the energy saving state. Of course, this is a tab on here. EPU, EPU 2013 enabled, CPU power, power phase control disabled, motherboard LED control auto C1 support, etc. That's for your ECOs. Browser. You could actually surf the internet in here if you had MSI's Winky installed on the computer. Next would be our our live update and flash utilities. We have an HDD backup here. We have a live update and of course the BIOS M flash. And below that would be our security if you want to set a secure password. So that's been our quick overview of the MSI Click BIOS 2 for the MSI Z77A GD55 motherboard. For the full review, please visit www.hitechlegion.com. Stay thirsty, my friends. See you next time. Bye-bye.